Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing this evening? As you know, this is not your mom's closet. I am Isabel J. Trussell and... Drea Trussell. Hi, Andrea. How was your day? It was good. And? I got to hang out with my boyfriend. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. So, you had a good time then? I did. He makes me very happy. Well, that's good. Yeah. So... Uh, let's get to our horror topic, like always. Okay. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we did watch a movie called American Psycho, and then I ended up falling asleep. I just thought, like, he kept laughing at it, and, like, yeah, there were some parts that was funny, but it, like, I don't know, my brain is a little too small. <laughs> like, why is it, why is it too small? Well, because there is, like, a lot of parts where it's just, like, like, so there's a scene where they're all showing their business cards. Uh Uh-huh. And my boyfriend had explained the joke. He was, like, I think the joke is that they're all the same business card, but they're, like, all mad because it's not the same. But they're all the same. But they're just trying to be like each other. Oh, I see. So yeah, it was um, very, it was very weird, and it was very like it was very dumb, and you know, I didn't like how they were sexualizing a lot of Asian women in it, and I got really uncomfortable, you know, as being half Asian, yeah, right? as being like an Asian, being part of the Asian community. So I just felt uncomfortable. Yeah, well, I totally get it. I mean, yeah, it was- but it was like an old movie, and you know, a lot of older movies do not, um, they don't. They're not, like, they don't, how do, how do I explain it? It's just, like, there's nothing, like, you would see, like, in a normal, like, horror movie, like, from You today. didn't have any common sense or what? No, but no, it's just, like, not, well, so we ended up not finishing the movie because we were just, like, we we're so, like, done with it. But um, he explained to me that at the end of the movie, he didn't kill anybody. It was just all in his head. Oh really? Oh, like the the like the movie. I mean, not like the movie. The the what do you call it? That show that you watch. What's his name? Which the, one? The one that I tell you I didn't like. The one that I thought he was kind of like a drug person. I don't know what it was or something. Um, did you say he was like uh, just dreaming about it or something like that? He had some some mom and dad issues. That program that you that I thought nah, it was kind of dumb. Remember? Mom and dad issues. Yeah, the guy that you, you watched on the Netflix or something, or what was it about? Not on Netflix. Was it on, on HBO? I don't know. I mean, you guys watch so many things. What do they look like? Uh, it's that guy that was like uh, high or something that you guys were watching a program of. High? Yeah, I guess he was high or drugged. I don't know what it was. And you told me, oh, yeah, I like that. And I, 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 it's like keeping your life. And that's why he likes to watch it a lot, too. Who? Oh, you? Yeah, you. Oh, no, he actually did kill the people. Oh, he did kill the people? Yes. Okay, but it's something similar or what? No, because um, in the show You, Joe was actually killing people and stuff like that. There was, like, no mind tricks or anything. He did grow up, like... With, like, mental disorders and, like, you know, he did have a lot of mom and dad issues and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So, technically speaking, then, he was, that 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 show is bad. But the movie was not as bad because they didn't kill anybody. I, I guess, but I really like that crime stuff, so I like the show better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Guess what Kenneth was watching last night? I mean, I never, I, I mean, I... I saw it, but I got, like, disgusted about it. That uh, Centipede movie. The Human um, Centipede? Yeah, the human, ugh, that's nasty. I personally have not watched it because everybody that I know says that it'll probably scar me for life, and I trust those people. Uh, yeah, I probably would, because I thought that was disgusting. Ooh. Yeah. Isn't it, like, where they, like, <sighs> isn't where he, like, because I heard about it because Annette was trying to show me when I was little. Uh, and you'll be scarred for life, for real. But isn't the one where he's, like, a psychopath and he, like, he chains people up to, like, each other's bodies, like, so is them? No, they were not chained. They were, they were like, like, patched up, like, he patched their lips in somebody's behind him. 
So technically, he would give somebody because I saw it. I was disgusted. Uh-huh. Just, when did just, you watch it? That was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. That's why I was. I was disgusted. You know, he, I think there was part one and part two of it. Part one and part two. Yeah, it was really disgusting. Why would Why would you watch what? But I didn't watch the part two. I watched the part one. Just just the part one alone, it disgusts me. Yeah. Because he kind of uh, put, you know, those, they, he'd like patch them all up together. And then he fed one so he can, for that one to poop and the other one would drink it and poop. And then the other one, you know, it passed along. It was disgusting. It, Wait. It really made me sick. Wait. So sick. So, like, he would feed the person at the front. Mm-hmm. So no, like there was there was nothing in the, uh, the front. The person in the front, dude. I was the person in the front, dude. I would not be complaining. <laughs> I'd be like, feed me. Oh hell no! Like uh, okay. that's disgusting. I mean, it is disgusting, but it's like if you think about it, like, uh, would you it, rather be the person in the front or the back? I'd rather be the person in the front. <laughs> exactly. But that was kind of disgusting, though. It, I mean, it is gross, but dude. Catch me in the front. Uh uh uh. Nope, nope, nope. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I, well, I like he's, would he like switch them around or what? No, he just like put them on like that. You know, like a centipede. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He just he just put them on like that. And I'm like, oh my God. What else can people think of? I mean, and now uh, that is something that a lot of people like. like. You know, I've never seen stuff. it. Like uh, Nick I, no. said that it would emotionally scar me. No, you don't want to see that. Yeah. Is, is that your favorite friend? Can you guys hear him in the background? He has a big old meow because he's like literally looking for his mom. He yeah. says, Mom, Mom, where are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Well, anyways, but yeah, no, I've never seen that movie. And it's like, you know, a lot of people are recently talking to me about it more. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I don't think I want to watch it because it's like, I cannot like I cannot handle all that blood. Is there blood in it or no? No. So it's just how really do you, disgu- it's, how do you he's see He's a them surgeon. S- well, then how do you see him sew it up then? He's a surgeon. That's what it is. It's a doctor. That oh. Is, he's a psychopath. That's what he is. I was like, Psh. hell no. Oh, so like, it's, when does it end? Like, how many people does he have by then? I think it's like six people. It's only six people? Yeah. That's not that and bad. Then, and then the second one, I guess he adds more. I thought y'all were talking about he had like twenty people in a row. No, no, no I think I think that's I think he like How do they lay patches. Down? I think he patches them up all all of them. You know, like started you know with just a couple. You know, at the beginning of the movie, and then it, it goes on. You know, with the second movie, I guess there's more. He he had on, and I'm like, oh, that is disgusting. Let me look this up. But there's few that died uh, in the process. How? I, I guess with pain and all the stuff that was... Well, I guess how does he, he get rid doing, of them? I guess he killed them. He kills Hell, them? Hell, these people do a lot of crap. I tell you, they they can come up with some weird crap. But anyway, um, yeah, and he was watching that, and I was like, oh, hell no, I ain't going to watch that really? anymore. That's disgusting, though. It's disgusting. He uh, forms a real big circle of humans. You know, as a centipede, and that's disgusting. But well, how did they lay down? Uh, I guess they, you know, like they all go. How can? How do you think the centipede lays down? I don't know. I guess he just they like stretch out. Ew. So I don't know. I mean, I guess I, you know, I really didn't see. I just saw them all together, like uh, their hands and their legs, and you know, I mean. Their knees, their knees are their their feet, I guess, because he's pat, he he puts them down like a little doggy style. How do you know what doggy style is? <clears throat> Excuse me, you're in your four. That's how do they, you know what that's that is? How he, that's how he put them. How do you know what that is? Uh, hello. Oh my gosh! It's like on your hands and knees. Okay, that's well, it. Okay, you don't need to know that position. Uh, they, well, I'm sorry if I get to. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. I'm just looking at it, and apparently there's a one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. Good no, lord. I, you know what? I don't want to know about the third one. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, I know. That's bad. Like, how, how that, that dude watching? was a real psycho. I oh, tell my you. gosh. Like, I couldn't imagine that. Like, somebody kidnapping me and just, like, ruining no. my life. Dude, no, I would take my no. own life. I would grab, like, the knife. Well, they were trying, they, some and... of them would kill themselves, believe me. 
Well, what would he do with the dead bodies? I don't know. Go figure that out. Maybe he, uh, maybe yeah. he'll like uh, shred them to pieces and and cook them up and give it to them. Those maybe the that's why they're trying to pull it. Out. <laughs> I mean, that guy was nasty. Mm. I cannot imagine being the person in the back and be like, mm. no, thank you. Mm. What is this? Yeah. You know, like you would not know like what it is because well, nobody can talk, right? Technically, he went around. You know, like he formed everybody. Well, though. like because you like you're thinking like. Oh, dude, I couldn't even imagine. Oh, that's like, I know, like, it would be poof, but it's like... <sighs> no, never mind. You know what? Let's cut that conversation out, because that's, that's a real disgusting uh, movie and a real disgusting conversation. I want. I do not want to uh, think about that. That's disgusting. I, like I said, well, I'd rather be the person in the front. <laughs> you know what? I'd rather think about another movie that scared the, the living heck out of me. Like uh, Jeepers Creepers. Oh, my I can't God. remember Jeepers Creepers. But weren't they like on a bus or something? Yeah, they were on a bus. There were students. Uh, I remember me and Christopher watched it like a couple of years back. Oh, God. I was laughing. I swear I didn't want to get outside in the middle of the night or to go anywhere because I felt like something was like flying on top of my car. Uh, it was just laughing the whole entire <laughs> time. I was like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> How do y'all mess up that bad? Uh, no, I don't think I wanted to have anybody, like, jump on top of my like, car. I could do scary movies, like, if I'm with the right type of people, like, me and Nick, we just laugh about it the whole time. <laughs> well, you, you guys know? are lucky. But, like, if I'm with you, I'll be like, oh, my gosh. You know? Like, I can like I can watch all the Conjuring movies, and I can watch all the Annabelle movies. Like, I'm, I'm chilling, like, with that. Mm-hmm. But, like, you, like, you overthink it. It used to be, like, how I was when I was little. But now I just laugh at it because it's, like, I mean, you know what to do. Yeah. You know what to do. Yeah, but that still scares the crap out of me, though. No. Yeah. Like, what did I say? Like, Annabelle, remember how I kept saying, man, just throw her in the fire. They don't throw Throw her in the fire. Throw her in the fire. They won't throw her in the fire. Burn the house down. I do not care. That bitch won't even burn. Yeah, but it's like if you see a creepy doll, like for me, me personally, and after you just ripped, don't want a creepy doll. After I ripped all my de- dolls' heads off, you know, I kind of just threw them in the closet, buried them, and just never thought about them again. Why did you take your heads off the? It was dolls? an accident. Yeah, you probably you probably uh, got scared because of Annette scaring the crap out of you, didn't she? Maybe, but it's like also I had this little doll thing when I was little. It was a little baby, and she started making weird noises, and her eyes were like. <laughs> You know, I gave you that who? that uh, doll. My friend uh, that lived next to us, she was my next door neighbor, uh-huh. Ilda. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I loved Il- Ilda, but she got uh, she got an asshole for her, her husband. Mm-hmm. You know, for her first husband. But anyway, she gave you that doll, and she gave you the pretty sandals that you had because her daughter is older than you, mm-hmm. and um, she was a real, real sweet person. And we became friends. Um, um, I mean, real good friends. And I think she's in Switzerland or something. She's always somewhere. I know she's traveling. But uh, she gave you that doll and some stuff. And I, I, I told her, "Why? Because you didn't want to let go of the doll. You liked the doll at that time, and you didn't want to let go of it. And that was her daughter's doll. And I'm like, okay. And she says, yeah, she can keep it. My, you know, my little girl has more. I was like, okay. So you kept that, and she gave it to you. No, she's in the garage right now. Oh, well. I I was so scared. I remember I was like Because it makes like funny little and so yes. on and so on. And it's got one beat up eye and so, right? Yeah, and so. Well, you can't help it. it you, you outgrew it, too. So I was like five. And that was my favorite doll. I remember I used to like always play with her. Mm-hmm. And then she got broken and I was like, oh. I threw her under me and kind of all her, like all of her toys. And I just didn't open the closet again. <laughs> She I didn't refused. do nothing to you. She just wore her out. I what do you expect? Scared. I was like, nope. You sound. You sounds like you sound like that Woody uh, cartoon. They just throw the doll. You know the the rest of the dolls in the boxes. Well, I mean, if the she, collecting okay, does. I was doll. like five, and if it starts making noises, that's not normal. What do you think I'm gonna do? But it's because she was being squashed by other toys. What do you expect? What do you think I'm gonna do? Okay, get rid of it. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways. And so, like, for me, it's just like, imagine if I was still, I was stuck with Annabelle. 
Yeah. Oh, hell no. Yeah. I, I would definitely burn that thing out. I'd, I'd burn that like, bitch Man, out. I know I got a lighter somewhere. Grab mm-hmm. some hairspray. There you go. And what happens if the bitch will burn? She's going to burn somehow. Well, I hope somehow, it does. Somehow. I could probably gift her to someone else. She's not being attached to me. No. Nope. nope. Mm-hmm. I refuse. Like, and for me, that's why I can't go to antique stores and buy stuff like that because it's like... Get the little five. Uh, and I just like, don't know how other people are just doing this. Like, just buying stuff. And I'm like... Mm. And that gives you some hocus pocus vibe. Yeah, like, <laughs> there's this one lady that I was watching one time and she had over, like, 600, like, rag dolls. Oh, uh, hell no. And I was like, man... Do you not know Annabelle, lady? Lady, that's where the Annabelle came from. Yeah, my like, girl. This girl. Oh, my God. You know, there are people addicted to that. Collecting. I don't care what you're addicted to. Just don't be addicted to something creepy like that. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. for me, like, I know I have a couple of addictions, you know, but. Not creepy dolls, ass stuff like dolls, that, right? Rag dolls? No, that's creepy as hell. <laughs> Could not catch me. Uh-uh. I mean, yeah. I, were the rag dolls pretty at least? No, they look like the Annabelle one. You mean Raggedy Ann? Yes. Raggedy Ann was a popular um, doll. She she was really pretty, you know, back then. Well, she's still collecting them till today. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not something I mean, that was like in the 1920s. I know, but I, I, I used to like Raggedy Ann and Andy because they were a boy and a girl. Do you know that? Wait, isn't that one? It was a boy and a girl, Raggedy Ann and Andy. Wait, isn't that one? It's real. It's a real pretty. They were real pretty dolls back then. I mean, no. uh, there were like, see, there's Andy right there. Okay, well, there's and this and, and, Ra- and Ra- I don't know why they call Raggedy Ann and Andy, but that's pretty mm. much what mm. it looked like. Well, what can we do? I mean. I'm sorry that she she has to be Annabelle. <laughs> why I I don't know why people would do use my my favorite little doll. Cuz I did like Raggedy Ann. It wasn't her fault, dude. I know that's what I'm saying. It's not her fault. They used her for that. That's that's some dumb crap people. They they use a pretty innocent little doll and do some hocus pocus on it. Damn. I, I do not like people like that. Could not catch me purchasing one of those. Well, I know. Well, nobody wants to purchase anything like that because you don't even know. Other than that, what was I going to say? Um, besides all that horror stuff going on. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you about um, something I was looking up because, you know, since since we have the... We were talking about the, um, like... La Llorona and all that. And, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? I re- I remind myself. Remember that I was telling you about the Mano Pachona? I know, I know a lot of people don't know about it. Okay. What is that? It's, I think it's a hand. It's a hand that they, uh, that got cut off by. So like in the Adams family. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. But, but this is a horror one because it, I, 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 I'm never sure if it was from a monk or oh. from um, from uh, um, I don't know what it was, but it was. It, I remember that we were told that if we didn't behave, that thing was gonna crawl into our beds. And I was like, "What? Only Why would you do that? Crap! Mm-mm. That's Why? Like, why do you think I put my 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 sheets all tucked in in my in my bed? Because I no, I do not want something crawling on me. Hell Why would no. parents do that? It's like if you don't behave, you're just gonna get a butt whooping. I, that's it. Right, but we can't butt whip, remember? But uh, that's what they used to tell us, that they used to they used to tell us that, 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 that the Mano Pachona was going to crawl on us. And I was like, oh, hell no. I started tucking in my my my, my uh, bed sheets it's under like, the bed, like really tucked in where you can't even feel, it. like my fingers are like numb from being, you know, so so tight, like military style. That's how I put my bed, so I won't, I won't, I won't uh, be, um, what do you call it? What are you scratching anyway? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh. Well, anyway, it was funny because my mom would say, why do you have your, your, your whole entire bed tucked in? Because 
I don't know, one of my aunts or one of my uncles that like, said that. And I, and she goes, there's no such thing as that. My mom was not ki- the kind of person that would say that. She she said that it was a cuckoo once in a while, but not really. She would really get the chancla on us. <laughs> Which, it was funny like, because... Why would you emotionally scar children like that? I don't know. I don't like, know. I was like, me? I was scared to death when something if something was crawling on top of me oh hell no i would literally like like get in bed and i would say uh because my sister and i were you know we share the same bed Mm -hmm. and i mean not the same bed but the same room because Mm -hmm. my bed was a crib and i would literally jump from the crib all the way to her bed Mm -hmm. but i hated to go and uh, um, sleep with her because she used to shave her legs and they felt like porcupine her legs. Ugh. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't stand that. So I was like, you know yeah, what? Actually, that's super funny. Because you know what? I'm gonna go. I, I I grabbed my pillow and I went to my mom's bed. And my mom's bed and my dad's bed was those big, those uh, what do you call it? California style uh, king size bed. Mm-hmm. They're like two of the queen size mm-hmm. because it was specially made in Mexico. And, oh, my God, all of us could sleep in that bed. But I would sleep right there in the middle of the bed. And I was, like, I was so cold because it was just, like, a huge, like, I think it was, like, a me and, what do you call it, a full-size bed in the, in the middle. Because each one would sleep on each, uh, on, like, um, from uh, each corner of the bed, which is from left to you from left to right they were on the on the very you know far edge on the on the corners of the beds mm-hmm. so i was in the middle mm-hmm. and i it was funny because sometimes i would be there and i would tell dad can you give me a hug cuz my mom snuck out i said yeah yeah come over here i hug you and i said dad there's something in my bed and it says what? What is it? And I was like a five-year-old little girl. There's something on my bed. I remember that because he said, there's nothing on your bed. Look. Mm-hmm. And he would turn the light on and there was nothing on my bed. But that was the time when your, your aunt wasn't around. So mm-hmm. I was like, I feel so, so sad because I was like, I didn't want to sleep alone. So they started to uh, give me some space in their bed. So I sleep better because I was next to them. But then one night, your Uncle Daniel got up uh, screaming. Because he he said he saw like the devil appear to your uncle Richard, and the room smelled like so so far. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh huh. And I'm like, oh really? How funny? Because your uncle Richard <laughs> is a is a Baptist uh, minister. I was like, oh my god, really? That was when they were little, and the, the devil appeared to them. Mm-hmm. Oh God, no! He cried. He cried, and then he was the second person that hopped in that bed. So we had to share the bed because I was dreaming. I, I was dreaming. I getting. I was getting touched by the mano pajona, and he was. Uh, he was dreaming, or he was thinking that the, the devil was appearing to Richard. It's just overthinking. That's I think. How it, I, see it. I really think it was because I mean that thing. This scared the crap out of us. I mean Daniel mm-hmm. got scared because he saw the devil, and I got scared because I was having the feeling that that thing was gonna crawl in my bed. Oh hell no. That's not like I used to be, but then it's like, man, if they want to kill me, they can kill me. Or they're going to be like, oh, dang, it's not that tasteful. Mm, well. Like, you know? Yeah, I know. That's how I think about it. But it's like, I think it's just all within, like, like overthinking about it, you know? Mm-hmm. And then you make it real. Well, it's, it's not that we make it real. It's just, I mean, it's just like, it's, it's kill the heck out of us for real. I mean... Hey, we were kids, mm-hmm. just like everybody else, you know, at that time. Now I think about it, and I even tell him, I said, you remember when you guys said that you smell so firm? <laughs> he laughs about it and says, well, you know, that's something to be scared about. And I said, well, you know what? I didn't smell that. All I can felt something crawling on my, on my bed. Mm-mm. Then he goes, did you really feel something? I said, well, you know what? I just thought I did. But you know what? I'm glad I never, it never did crawl back mm-hmm. to my bed. Because that really scared me. Mm-hmm. But again, it's like it's some, it's it just. I guess you're just imagining it because you're you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You're just imagining it, and that's yeah. what it is. It's just, uh, just things that you imagine because it's it's not gonna happen. It's not happening. Yeah. So. 
I, I don't know. I I mean, what have I? I don't think I ever told you anything like that to scare you to go to bed, did I? Kakui. Kakui. I didn't tell you about the kakui. Yes, you did. Oh, kakui. What is a kakui? I forgot what it was. I don't I think, remember. I think that kakui was some sort of uh, a ghost or something. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, yeah, I did. I think I did tell you about the kakui. And um, I think it's something like um, some sort of like mm, a man shaped like a wolf or something. I'm mm-hmm. not very sure. Sorry. I'm not very sure. But yeah, that's what it was, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know everything. Uh, why are you going through my phone? <laughs> We're having a conversation here. I'm having a conversation with you. I am wait. multitasking. I'm, well, don't, get off my phone. You got no business on my phone. We're podcasting here. We're talking We're talking silly, dumb, scary. Well, I have nothing else Crap to say about happens. it because it's like, I mean, I try not to overthink it because, you know, if you overthink it, then you're in your mind it's real. But if you don't let it become real, then it's not real. And so what were you thinking about the doll being real? I'm saying you cannot catch me with a doll like that or I'm going to burn something. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I get it. Also because it is real, you know, like they have a museum. I mean, yes, yes, I know it's real. So, are you, would you, I mean, I don't see myself catch, I mean, I mean, looking at something like that. I would want to go to the museum, but it depends on what kind of day I'm feeling. No, I don't think I want to go to the museum at all. Yeah. No, I don't want that vibey uh, Annabella on Like me. I said, you would have to catch me on a specific day for that. Uh, no, you don't have to catch me on any day. I don't want nothing to do with that. You know what I was telling you, Dad, the other day? And um, I know this is way, like, way off the subject of scary. But I was telling him about the story about Pancho Villa. Mm-hmm. Because my mom, when she's not, when she, she got like, uh, she they did uh, some, what was it? Uh, when they stick her in a, a big old um, thing, what do you call it? Um, the round thing. Oh, so they can, they it's can a, it's a, yeah, uh-huh. so they can scan her uh, brain or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, since she she gets like uh, like paranoid of go, going inside of those things, they put her to sleep. Mm-hmm. So when she got out of there, because they like really really drugged her to put her to sleep, mm-hmm. um, she came out talking that she was with Pancho Villa, what the and that's way before before her time. That was her like I guess her ancestor time, but it was it. It was funny because I was telling you that my mom was talking about Pancho Villa when they put it to sleep. Mm-hmm. And he was actually, um, he died way before my mom was in the picture. Mm-hmm. But she was telling me about the story about, um, I, think, I think it was my dad. I'm not very sure. They had a winery and our grandpa came all the way from Spain and worked with him because they had a winery. Mm-hmm. And he, was, he worked for, for this president. So and um, our family from her side from her side came all the way from Spain, and and I was telling your dad I said, but you know what happened to actually happened to Pancho Villa, just to figure out why he was so intelligent, so smart. Mm-hmm. They literally cut his head off and put it in a in a jar and took it to a museum somewhere here, in the United States because they wanted to know why he was smart. I don't get why people do that back then. Why would you want to cut off a head from somebody that they think they was he was so smart? I don't the, think that they're very enlightened. You know, I just think that they're they were just uh, trying to you know like get something out of it, but they never did mm-hmm. because you know they always do something like that. Like um, they get pieces of you know like. Uh, the elephant man, there's the elephant, I think the elephant man's body is in a museum too. And what I'm is like, the elephant man? It, it's, uh, we have to go, you have to Google him up. But Do you anyway, mean like the seal man? No, it was an elephant man. Okay. It's, I think there's a story about him too. But anyway, and I was thinking, why would you want to cut uh, a head of Pancho Villa? What are you going to get out of it? I mean, some brain cells oh. or something? Some brain cells or something? And, I mean, I don't think they got, because there's 
plenty of smart people like Albert Einstein. Now they should have taken his head out because mm-hmm. he was gen- a genius. But they didn't. The problem is, is that they wanted to cut Pancho Villa's head because overall he did beat a, he did beat up the American side a lot. Hmm. <laughs> I love my Pancho Villa story because it's it's amazing. It's one. It, it was one badass Mexican that beat the Americans like nobody's business. Yeah, no. Lol. I definitely <laughs> tried to tell Bobby about some scary thing, but he says that I'm crazy. And that he would basically call me a witch at his time. <laughs> well, that's something funny. But anyway, Andrea, are you going to tell our uh, podcast listeners about your um, you leaving us for a little while? For a little while? Because you probably come here once in a while, right? Yeah. When you can. When yeah. you can. So we need to tell our podcasters you will probably come once in a while. And do podcasting with me. But I will take over this podcast. And I would, you know, think of something scary. I know it's kind of sad to see Andrea go. Because she's the one that makes everybody laugh in here. I mean, she is kind of funny about her her stories. And she makes me laugh once in a while. <laughs> with yeah. all the stuff that she does. But we're just going to have in mind that, again, she's just a young lady. That she has a lot of stuff in her mind. And a lot of things to do in her podcasting. So everybody, uh, 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 we're 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 uh, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Andrea. So Andrea, thank you for being here tonight, and I hope you um, you come back again to uh, to do podcasting with me sometime. You know, later on in the future, because we don't know. Again, your buddy's calling you, and you have to excuse. Other people walking in on us when we do our podcast. And yeah, that is funny. Especially when someone's looking for somebody. But anyway, y'all have a good night. And again, this is not your mom's closet podcast. So, Andrea, good night, Andrea. Good night. And we'll see you later.